Hello and welcome back to Sailor. I'm Sam and thank you for joining me today to pause, catch our breath, draw near to God and refresh our spirits. I will stop and breathe in your presence, just breathe, just breathe. The decision to follow Jesus is the most important decision you can ever make. It is a life-changing decision for the better. A choice to follow God, who has a plan for you to prosper and not to harm. A God who always has your back. But does that mean it's always easy? Just because it's better, doesn't make it easy. In today's musical musings, we're looking at the song Narrow Road by Josh Baldwin. Matthew 7 verse 13 and 14 say this, Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only few find it. This song comes from the perspective of a Christian who has been following that narrow road for a while. It can be a misconception that the longer people have been walking with Christ, the easier it will get. But this song speaks of a different story. Their feet are getting tired, heart a little heavy, and soul a little weary. The walk with Christ and daily decision to follow him isn't always going to be easy. If it was, how would we ever learn strength and endurance? The writer of this song admits hardships, but through it all, it's Christ who keeps them going. If you're also finding things tough at the moment, remember, Christ is always there to lean on. Ask him for strength and guidance today. Ask him to keep you going and thank him for his support. Been walking for a while, my feet are getting tired, my heart's a little heavy, but you keep me going. Been walking for a while, mile after mile, my soul's a little weak. But you keep me going You keep me going You said it'd be a narrow road, so why am I surprised when it seems I'm on my own? In Romans 5 it says this, Faith brings joy. Therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ our Lord has done for us. Because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege where we now stand and we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. We can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials, but we know that they help us develop endurance and endurance develops strength of character and character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. And this hope will not lead to disappointment for we know how dearly God loves us because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. Christ will never leave us alone, but he always wants to nurture us and build us up. In verse 3 and 4 of this scripture, we are urged to rejoice in trial. This trial is time that will strengthen us for the future. Take some time to think about where God is building and teaching you. When you thought you were alone, seek what the Lord was doing in your life. Ask him what he was teaching you. Search and you will find. He said it'd be a narrow road. He said it'd be a narrow road. So why am I surprised when it seems I'm on my own? He said it'd be a narrow road. This world would never be my home. The journey might.
Exodus 13, verses 17 to 22, Israel's wilderness detour. When Pharaoh finally let the people go, God did not lead them along the main road that runs through Philistine territory. Even though it was the shortest route to the promised land, God said, If the people are faced with a battle, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led them in a roundabout way through the wilderness towards the Red Sea. Thus, the Israelites left Egypt like an army ready for battle. Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for Joseph had made the sons of Israel swear to do this. He said, God will certainly come to help you. When he does, you must take my bones with you from this place. The Israelites left Succoth and camped in Etham, on the edge of the wilderness. The Lord went ahead of them. He guided them during the day with pillar of cloud, and he provided light at night with a pillar of fire. This allowed them to travel by day or by night, and the Lord did not remove the pillar of cloud or pillar of fire from this place in front of the people. The bridge of this song takes these words directly from scripture. I will walk where you're leading, cloud by day and fire by evening. You're the lamp guiding my feet. When God was leading his people out of slavery in Egypt, he knew the perfect path for them to take. He did not lead them the way that they would expect or prefer. He led them where he knew they would prosper. Although I'm sure many doubted, thinking, there's a shorter way than this. Why aren't we going that way? God knew what his people would be able to deal with and led them on a path where they would flourish and be saved. We may not always see the best way to go ourselves. We may think we know better, but God will always lead us into victory. As we listen to this song, pray and ask the Lord for guidance. Ask him to show you the cloud in the day and the fire in the night, to show you the narrow road to follow, the narrow road with him to glory. Been walking for a while, my feet are getting tired, my heart's a little heavy, but you keep me going. Been walking for a while, mile after mile, my soul's a little weary, but you keep me going. You keep me going You said it'd be a narrow road You said it'd be a narrow road So why am I surprised when it seems I'm Where I